All right. Now I also this is smoothed, and we may have to do this a couple of times. Uh, let me go up and hit the uh, view hidden. You can see that this box is actually cutting through several sections of our drawing, uh, of our design. And I think I'm going to start with that. I'm going to have you turn on the uh, view hidden. Make sure that's turned on so that you can see all the sections. And we're going to do this a space at a time. Sometimes that's necessary. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the shell, highlight the shell, highlight that section that I can see cuts through there, right click, intersect with model, right click, intersect with model, and to hit that you're going to use the left button, right click to highlight, come down to intersect, intersect model, left click. All right. And if you can see what's happened, there's now a line drawn there. Let's do this one up here because we didn't get a line there. So I'm going to click on this one. Intersect with model. Oh, and then there was a line created there when I did that. So th this top line actually was in this section. And if I look all the way around here now, you can see that I now have a line that shows where this box intersects the the trailer model that we're working on. Alright, next what I want to do is select the box and select each side of the box and do the same thing. Right click, intersect with model, right click, intersect with model, right click, intersect with model, right click intersect with model now <clears throat> I want to make sure that I've also done this on the inner shell as well so again I'm going to come back on the outside here click deselect everything come around to the other side click on the the excuse me curbside of the shell right click hide now, right now you see I've got the hide pattern, and that, I don't want to see that. It's going to be interfering with what I want, so I'm going to go to View, Turn Off Hidden. Now I can come in here, and I can see where the box for my window is coming through. And I can actually see lines here, so it's probably intersected, but I want to make sure. So I'm going to click on and highlight that side, double click or triple click until the whole thing is highlighted. Okay, come back. And now this time I'm going to work with the whole thing highlighted. See the whole thing is highlighted. Right click, intersect with model. And again go around on our box, do the same thing. Right click, intersect with model. Right click, intersect with model. Oh, now this is good. This will pop up sometime. It says no intersections found between the two sections. That's because when we did the other side, this surface already made the necessary connection up here. All right, so we maybe don't have to do that one. So when you see that, don't panic. It just means that it's probably fine. It's already done. Now, this seems like a rather elaborate process to go through, which it is. Okay, so, so that one is okay. I get here and check this other side. But I'm doing a whole lot of windows and a whole lot of trailer designs. I've found that it just pays to double check that everything is connected. Now what I'm going to do is click on the end of the box. Hit delete so I've deleted the box so I can see in. Now if I click on my area in here and right now I can't get the wall collected because of the box and everything is part of the drawing so I have to scroll out click in the outside area to deselect everything then come back and click in here and aha you can see that here is the wall and where the inside window space is uh, that particular space is um, separated 
and that's what we're after. Now, for right now, we are not going to eliminate that space. We're just going to eliminate the box. So again, I'm going to click up here in the gray area, come back, click on the box, highlight it, and I'm going to go around and delete all the line, the box. Okay. And let's see, is that still? Yeah, that's still separated. Let's check the other side. Okay, it's separated. So now what we have is our cutouts for our windows separated. Now, notice that because of the way we talked about keeping everything separated in the beginning for uh, the sake of being able, like I removed this curbside so I could get in here and see and work on the window, uh, all that was necessary for doing these kinds of things that we're doing now. So I'm going to click on the gray area, deselect everything, come back and click on the window here, and this one I'm going to hit delete. Now I'm going to roll around to the back side. <coughs> Again, I have to click on the gray area to deselect everything, come back and click in here and click on the window. Now this one I am not going to delete because that's going to become the glass of my window. Now, now try something here. If just to show you, let's say if I hit delete, it would go away. You can see it's now an opening. Okay, so that created our opening. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that has happened is I don't have any fill in between the inner and outer shell. And I've done this so I can kind of show you some other steps that we want to go through because it's nice if we can get this fill done right in the beginning. So I'm going to do Control Z several times till I get back to where the box is there. Okay, we got our box back again. And what I want to do this time is I'm going to say I got to collect a bunch of times in the gray to deselect everything. All right, I mean, we got to scroll back. Oh, there we go, because I had the picture. <coughs> Click on the box, highlight it. Okay, what's happening is when I'm clicking, I'm actually getting my picture highlighted. See where that line's coming from? That's because of the angle that I'm at. So I need to come down here so I'm below. Now when I click in here, see, I get the box. We're getting interference. And those things happen. Now, instead of deleting the whole box, what I want to do is highlight the box and then come out and get the lines, and I'm going to delete the lines of the box one at a time. Now, again, this seems like a lot of process, but I'm doing this for a specific reason. Let's go to the back side of the box now. And we're going to do the same thing here. Highlight it. Get the individual parts and delete the... Oop, that didn't work. Got the wrong section. I get the line. There we go. And just delete the lines. And as you delete the lines, the surfaces disappear. Okay, deselect everything by clicking. Oop, missed one. There it is. Click on the background to deselect everything. All right. Now I'm going to go back in the inside and click until I get this center section highlighted. Now I don't want the blue lines because if that's all done, if I hit, then I'm going to hit delete, the whole thing goes away and the wall goes away. So I'm going to control Z to bring the wall back and I need to make sure that just the inner side is highlighted. So when I hit delete, just the inside goes away. Now let's rotate back to the background. Click on the outside. Let's click till we get this shape again. 